Okay, so on the clinical rounds with my neurologist, uh, Dr. Bhagwat and Dr. Fisan, we were having a discussion that suppose a patient of meningitis uh, recovers. So we do a CSF in the starting and there are low sugars and high WBCs in the CSF, usually in the uh, bacterial meningitis. Now, suppose we started this patient on, on antibiotics and then the CSF improves. So which is the first thing to improve in the CSF, whether it's the CSF sugar or proteins or the WBCs? So the first thing which improves in the CSF is the sugar. What happens because the antibiotics kill the microorganisms, so the consumption of the glucose uh, gets uh, settled down. And that's why the sugars start to normalize. In the infective stage, the sugars are low because of the consumption. But uh, while when the patient improves, so started improving, the sugar st uh, level starts normalizing. While the WBC, which are high, they take a little more time to settle down. So. I confirmed this on the literature and in their articles present on the PubMed also, which shows that the, within 48 hours, the sugar starts to get normalized, while the WBC may take 7 or two, uh, 10 days to get uh, normalized to a uh, threshold value. So this is interesting. So if you see a CSF or repeat a CSF in a case of uh, meningitis, and if you see even the cell counts are not decreased to that extent, but the sugar has started normalizing, that means the uh, therapeutic uh, options which you are giving to the patient or antibiotics which you are giving to the patients is working and the patient is uh, improving in terms of the CSF reports. So do read more about it. Thank you.